You talked today about you were on an air, you were cleaning an airplane today. I was. But I remember the story you told on the last show when you were on several months ago that you proved one of your product's efficacy by going to Continental or some airlines, getting up on a ladder and cleaning the plane. Can you, do you remember that? How we actually you did. It? We had we had huge help again by a, a giant partner. Uh, very proud. We issued a press release uh, when when we when we issued our grime off product. They put me up on a uh, a stair lift to go up and clean the the um, waste from the tail engine. That's the black marred area of the tail of the seven thirty seven. Uh, with our grime off wipe, I I cleaned that all off with a two or three strokes of my hand. Today, I was testing another uh, formulation out on a hubcap of a 737. Um, it's just why my fingernails are are filthy black. Um, and also gave them our newest product to try, which is our our green uh, brake cleaner. And um, it's a great product because. The brake cleaner that's currently out in the market and owns the market space has been outlawed in a number of states for its toxicity. So we're right at the cusp of being a market leader again, which I'm really very proud of my company for. So out there at front creating something non-toxic in a space where people are being injured by the toxic chemistry use. And so my friends uh, at Continental, again, um, a, a great place for us to, to trial our product and, and see it go to work. So yeah, that, that's, that's where I was today. What's also interesting to me that just comes to my mind as a recovering entrepreneur is that um, Kathy is just not afraid to get on up on a ladders and airplanes and not afraid to call the lead buyer of Home Depot. She's not afraid to go up against WD-40. She's a very typical entrepreneur. She's just not afraid of anything. And after he, she sells her company, she's still getting up on airplanes promoting her products and her new products that have come out.